Hello and welcome back to the worst reselling podcast ever. Hello, Grumpy Granny. How are you? I'm well and I'm back. Yay! Oh, well, that's what to say. It's um, <laughs> I raided the nursing home and unfortunately found where you were hiding at. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, um, yes. Yes. Yeah. I finally, I finally come out of the hospital wing and uh, mm. back into the normal world of the living, which is great. Well, that's good. Well, yeah, good mm. for some. Not not so much for me because obviously <laughs> my uh, world domination plans have been hindered. However, oh, <laughs> to watch where my, my tentacle goes there. I just almost well, uh, beat myself heard. in the head. Apparently, Graham was quite happy to see me back because he, he thinks that you need to be kept in check. No, is he? Oh, well, yes. Hello to Graham out there. Um, but yeah, like, if I'm going to be brutally honest, Grumpy Granny, a few people mm. have reached out to me and asked me how you were. And I, I said that. I, I don't know if she's coming back. And they, they, I think they took me that you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Well, yeah, so, no, it's good to see you back. Sent me some donations for my funeral costs, didn't they? Well, that's right. Well, well I did mm. raise a GoFundMe page. Those funds didn't <laughs> get through to you. <laughs> no, for some reason, no. 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 But I suppose that before we get into today's episode, we're going to do a little bit of a I suppose an overview of what we've been up to and what we're planning to do yeah. with the podcast going forward. So uh, what I'll do is I'll start up because we're actually reducing it to 30 minutes, like a bite-sized podcast, because a lot of our people told us that they love watching, but an hour is too much of yes. a commitment. So we're going to do, and Shut obviously you know, Grump, Grumpy Grady and I, yeah, <laughs> we're quite preoccupied with what we're doing ourselves. So the 30 yeah. minute format's probably a lot more comfortable in that perspective. So that being, that being said, like, yeah, we never ever stick to the time. So, you know, I'm going to say it'll be 35 minutes, maybe 40 I'm minutes. Press, maybe. I'm going to turn it off at mid sentence at 30 minutes. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we go. <laughs> yeah. So, the next uh, point of order is they're actually moving the podcast to its very own new channel. Um, so, it's going to be called The Word, oh, sorry, The Worst Podcast Ever. Is it, well, The Worst Reselling Podcast Ever. Worst Reselling <laughs> Podcast this plan. Yeah, give me two seconds. When we go, we'll mm. show a little ticket. So that, there oh, it is. Look there. At that. So it's in the description. So it's not the well. worst reselling podcast. It's worst reselling podcast. That's right. That's exactly right. So mm. we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna capitalize on everything. So the reason for that is for two reasons. Um, as it currently stands, at all the YouTube revenue, <laughs> all three dollars that we normally rev uh, generate per month on the <laughs> podcast comes to me. Um, which is not, yeah, it's not fair on Grumpy Granny, right? Because, yeah, look, yeah, she needs some more sleep. Look at that face, yeah. Yes. <laughs> look at this face. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is basically with the new format, um, we're going to use it when eventually, yeah, six years down the track when it does become monetized because channels aren't automatically monetized, right? So we need to get the 4,000 watch hours, 1,000 subscribers again. And who are we? Please who subscribe. Would, who, who are we guessing? We're going to cheat again. <laughs> You'll turn around next week and we'll have 6,000 subscribers. Yep. Look at us go. Um, <laughs> so I suppose from that perspective is that the revenue will be used to pay for, obviously, my stream yard, Granny's stream yard, and all the ancillary costs that happens with YouTube. Um, then anything left over, obviously, after the expenses will go 50-50. And I'll probably, you know, for the probably first 12 months, I'll probably donate my dollar eighty-seven a month to Granny for her hearing aid fund, which I still think is going on from my memory, my <laughs> recollection. Yes, yes, slowly but surely. Mm. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much where it stands. Like I said, that YouTube's not going to make you phenomenal amounts of money. It's more of a, a fair share between, you know, Granny and I and Blake, if he ever, <laughs> if he ever wants to come back. He's, he looks a little <laughs> bit decapitated on the, um, the little the little picture down it, the bottom. But. Yes, he does. And that, that's a trouble because that was designed for having three of us oh, on yeah. the screen. So I am going to have a bit of a play around with that and create a new one for when there's only the two of us on the screen. So Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah so no, that should be good. But Blake's good. I, I speak to him probably you know, three or four times a week. Uh, check in with him. He's very busy with all the things he's got going on. Oh, yes, last I heard, yeah, last I heard, Depop deactivated and reactivated and deactivated his account. So off my account, oh. he's lost it for the sixth time oh, <laughs> over that initial right. issue. Uh, yeah, I thought he'd got it back, week. but now it's gone again. Wow. No, it's it's basically cycled around four or five times where they've given it back and taken it away. So, um, what in the world? <laughs> Yeah, so like I said before, is please, you know, if you haven't already, subscribe to Blake's channel, watch a couple of his videos to help him out in that regard. He is phenomenal. We, we love Blake. I don't know. Back he is. <laughs> but yeah, but he we is. love Chris. 
Um, yeah, so that, that's enough about Blake. We can we can go back to bad mouth with him now. Uh, so the, the podcast will be rolling across the new channel. Uh, will be this episode will be on my Describe the Lockables channel. The subsequent ones will be rolled out across the new channel, and I will put on Instagram and social media and all those different things. And Granny will do the same for the future episodes. Where to find it? Until everyone stabilizes. Um, yeah, Grumpy Granny and I will. Yeah, you know, I suppose we will upload the raw data to our channel members mm -hmm. on our own respective channels before. So what will happen is they actually won't go live on our channels to the general public. Uh, however, our channel respective channel members will get access you know, like two or three days before it actually goes live on the other channels. So yes, just another um, reason to you know, throw your, your waste your dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, and on a side uh... note, though, I've actually put some affiliate links down the bottom in the description field below for Amazon for the products that I use. Uh, so I'm not cutting Gr Grumpy Granny's grass because she has done the variation listing video like uh, the last couple of days ago, I think it was. Um, so I will show her to sign up for the affiliate links for the products that she suggested in that as well. So <laughs> like I said, if you're up that way, you just click on those and we get a little bit of cash back. But, um, but yeah, Granny, so I suppose for those that haven't met you before and on the new channel, because <laughs> who are you? Oh, well, I'm Grumpy Granny, and I'm an old lady, and I live in a nursing home in central Victoria. Mm. Looks like it's been repurposed as a school room as well, but it looks like Well, I've, yes, I've got a thing up there for when I'm teaching the boys and girls how to do things on eBay, which is primarily what I do on my channel. Mm. I do lots of tutorials and stuff, but, you know, I'm always happy to do other stuff. I do a little bit of Depop because um, I also sell on there, and I've just started not long before I got sick and stopped doing it, but... I'm selling on Etsy as well, which is mainly a bookstore. And, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I do. I sell jeans and books and other things. Hmm. So for those hmm. that, uh, you know, from outside of Australia, from where Grumpy Granny comes from and where I'm planning and taking over, um, we don't have access to a lot of, uh, I suppose, websites here to resell on. We've got no, really we eBay not. is our primary one. We don't really have Amazon. I know a lot of people do sell on Amazon, but we don't have that second Not hand. for the second hand market, no. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's quite in its infancy, I believe, at the moment. Mm. So we really, I don't count that as <laughs> a part of the yeah, equation. Yeah, no, no. We, we have Etsy, which is probably less used than anything, uh, probably comparable yep. to um, uh, what's the uh, one over the seas that, uh, over in America, that Commonwealth Pickle uses? Well, Bonanza, yes, yeah, so oh, it's, it's, yeah, probably our, yeah, it's, yeah. it's probably our Bonanza. So that, that's how many sales trickle through mm. on that platform. And we've got um, Depop, which is obviously Blake's worst enemy at the moment. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I think I might yeah. have actually attributed to him being banned again for the video that I did a call for action. <laughs> <laughs> reinstated. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, that's Crikey. probably one, one look at that and off they go. But. For those that, you know, stumbled across this channel, I do apologise in advance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm the disgruntled octopus. You're probably your future benevolent leader. Uh, so basically, I resell on eBay. been reselling on eBay fairly often since 2007, uh, a lot more full on in 2014. Went full-time in 2001 and then subsequently, oh, sorry, 2002 and subsequently, Went back to work recently, so I've had the <laughs> the very wide range of reselling experiences, um, and I suppose my channel I, I tend to be a little bit controversial. Like I suppose that I don't go with the status quo. Um, you know, I don't probably suck up to people unnecessarily. I suppose this is the best way to put it, um, and that's probably why the part of the reason we created the podcast channel yeah. for us because then. <laughs> If I say anything on the podcast or on my channel, it's not mm. affecting the other channels. Well, so. yes, that's right, because we have been known before to be critical of other people and their what mm. they do and things. But, you know, it's always constructive criticism, I do have to say. Always yeah, constructive I think, criticism. Yeah, and I, and I think I don't want to harbour too much on this because obviously I don't want the people to get their, their pitchforks and torches any more than they need to. But I think... <laughs> You know, me personally, I I don't like people take, being taken advantage of, right? Yeah. I think that's the best way of putting it. Um, you know, that I, you know, I've got to be very careful the way I word things because <laughs> I don't want to be cancelled. Uh, everyone's been cancelled in <laughs> 2024. Um, so yeah. basically, I, I suppose that <clears throat> just make sure that if any product that's being sold to you or, you know, being talked about, regardless of what it is, and you probably work out what I'm 
reading between the lines if you are in the reselling space, just make sure it's fit for purpose. That's all I ask. You know, I have nothing against the person that runs it or the people that run it or anyone in the group, regardless of what other people think otherwise. It just wants to make sure that, you know, it's fit for purpose, right? So yeah. it, to me, you know, if you are starting reselling, you get excited because you watch Grumpy Granny and she's selling a product and you want to dump, jump on it because you like Grumpy Granny, that's well and good, but make sure it's right for you. And I know yeah. make sure that look at the refund policy, make sure that well, all these different things. Yeah, like I said, just make sure it's a business expense that's worth yeah, yeah shelling and, out. And I mean, so. you can pay Grumpy Granny the dollar twenty nine a month, <laughs> I think it is, for her channel membership, which is great. And you get all that fantastic content, which you would get even if you don't pay that dollar twenty nine for the month. But mm. you know, I mean, that does help me um, with that. But you know, if you're paying a membership to get extra things of thirty five dollars or something like that a month you really have to stop and think at what level of selling, reselling you are if you're just starting out. Is that an expense that you really should be doing or is that $35 that you could be putting back into your business so that you can get some more stock and go and make some more money? Yeah, and don't get us wrong. Yeah, obviously we're talking about a certain group, but we we, we, be, we both have been a part of that group before. Um, personally, I thought it was really good for the capacity that I was using it for. Yeah. Um, not necessarily probably the intended reason for the group because um, they did have like a social social media perspective, like a, I suppose from where they did talk about social media, which you know I was looking to get in from that perspective because I knew I knew reselling well enough. Excuse me to to work yep. out what I wanted to do. Um, but the social media, well, I'm I'm still pretty dodgy on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, that it's definitely fit for purpose. I'm not saying it's a sham product. It's really good. However, it's not suited for everyone. And I'll leave it at that. Like, yeah. like I said, that yeah. just do your own diligence, do your own research. Um, just want to make sure that you obviously that, you know, and I do think. And there's nothing wrong I, with I, going in and testing something out and being right. a mem member of, of a group or something for a short period and mm. getting what you need out of it and then getting out. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, and I suppose further to that, to not pick on one individual, I've recently signed up to Flipwise. But... So just future Minion J here doing editing. Um, I've did some research and there's actually no app for Flipwise. So when I talk about that in the, or sorry, when the octopus talks about that in the podcast, disregard, he's completely shooting from the hip, didn't know what he was talking about. Uh, apologies. And he will do a review in about a month's time. So um, Justin Resells, like he's a, a co-founder on that. I know I signed up to it yesterday. I'm my uh, initial thoughts. I'm actually quite impressed. It's quite aesthetically pleasing from my perspective. But what I will do is I'll probably run it for a month or two just to see how it goes. Um, then I'll probably get more of an in-depth review. I won't recommend it. Um, well, I won't recommend or not recommend it at this point. Like, yeah, obviously, <laughs> yeah, you might. Yeah, you careful. might need to use it a little bit before you either recommend or don't well, recommend. Well, yeah. well, that's exactly right. But from initial impressions, I'm quite impressed um, by just the virtue. Because, like I was saying to Grumpy Granny before we went live, is that Excel spreadsheets don't do it for me, right? So I'm more of a visual person. The more aesthetically pleasing a thing is, the more likely I'm to use it. And from what I'm seeing, um, I'm quite happy to use this product. And like I said, yeah. I will give you an in-depth review after about. 30 to 60 days to give you an idea of what's going on. So please don't run out <laughs> and buy it on my, my very uh, dodgy recommendations. Mm. So. And I think you have to look at, like, your store size, how much – because it costs you – I mean, I had a look at the setup of it um, yesterday as mm. well and watched their demo, and it is. It looks like it's got great functions and, and um, the presentation of it's great. And the only thing that, you know, from, from my perspective – um, cause look, really, I'm actually a relatively new reseller. I've only been doing it for a couple of years. Um, and I just think, I just thought for me at this stage, it, the cost was going to outweigh where I'm at because my store is so big. Cause it's like, you know, two, 2,200 ish around there. Um, items, my store is so big, um, hmm. but sales aren't great because I've been off you know, being yeah. sick and stuff. So I've got to get it back up to where it was, but yeah. Yeah, and, and I think sales have been pretty flat against the board everywhere. And I think I mm -hmm. said to Granny the other day that last week I did about $4,000 in sales. This week I'm dropped down to $900 in the space of you know, yep. three or four days. So and sales to me, like normally I've been doing, oh, I'm not going to, yeah, not to boast. And please don't take this as boasting because I'm not disclosing my profit margin. <laughs> so, yeah, um, 
and I will, uh, we'll, yeah, we've Flipwise. I, I plan on using that product to do, I suppose, what sold videos. Very similar to what Justin Resells does. I actually quite enjoy his channel. Um, he did reach out to me personally on my Octopus account, which is quite nice. Um, but like I said, I actually thought it was spam email until I actually read it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he actually referred to me as something that um, not many people would. So that's why I thought it might have been uh, more of a, a, a personalized email, per se. Mm. Um, but yeah, like I said, that I will disclose that data um, because it's, it's, it's quite transparent, right? So this program is external to me. It's not a spreadsheet that I've made or create and can manipulate. This is a program that from my perspective is that they can give you relativity data. And that's part of the reason yeah. why I haven't disclosed figures so far is because you know, like it really, not that I would be dodgy, <laughs> even though I look it, um, but yeah, like realistically this, I can't manipulate this program, right? Um, yeah. The sales have been abysmal from my perspective. And like I said, about I think 4, that's 000, across the board right? from what I'm yeah. hearing. Yeah. I mean, I had no sales days. yesterday at all, which yeah, yeah terrible. I've had, up to about this year, I've never had a no sales day since I've been selling, you know, quite consistent since 2014. Uh, in the last week, I've had two no sale day yeah. in a row. Mm. So um, that gives an idea. But like I was saying, is I used to sell, well, statistically, about that three, four, fifty to $500 a day. Um, like I said, I'm not going to disclose the profit margins because, until I do the, the flip by stuff. Um, but yesterday was like $67 or something along to that after wow. expenses. <laughs> and I haven't done the post yeah, yet, so probably yeah, about $50 just, profit. yeah. Just terrible. Like I had a really yeah. good day Thursday, um, mm. like that was close to three hundred dollars. But then you know the day before was a was a donut day as we call them when you don't get any sales, and then low sales the next couple of days, and then Saturday, yeah, a, 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 another donut day. Not sure whether yeah. I'll be able to do a what sold video this week at the rate I'm going. <laughs> or, it'll and, and a, or it'll be it'll be a short. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 15 seconds short. Yeah, um, yeah. So I, I suppose that from like leading, you know, turning things full circle now that I'm on my ADHD medication and I can think a lot clearer. <laughs> and I'll get Hooray! into that in a second. But I, I suppose from that perspective, if you are only doing minimal sales a week, just hypothetically, I said $900, let's go off a 30% profit margin, just say 300 bucks for that. Um, with Flipwise, I'm currently paying $62 Australian because I'm in that. 1,000 yep. to 2,000, I think, bracket. Yeah, but realistically, and like I'm saying, is the other group we we're talking about as well is that you really need to work out how much make, like return on investment, right? Look at it from that perspective. Mm. Um, just, you know, like I'll, I'll leave it at that. However, um, just make sure that, you know, the, the product's right for you. So from, yeah, yeah. And I've lost my train of thought. Uh, and I do, <laughs> well, I, look, Medicine's I do think that the advantage of Flipwise is if you're someone that doesn't, do your figures and you're not into doing spreadsheets and you're really slack and then every time it gets to tax year every time you're mm. you know having to spend you know days and days and days in a row putting all your figures in because you haven't done it all year and that Weak. sort of thing i think flipwise would be <laughs> would be ideal and probably well worth it um mm. you know sort of thing. yeah and, and, and like i said yeah. initial impressions and like like i said i i watched justin resells i've never commented on his channel um which is quite surprising that he even knows i exist to tell you the truth <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah like i said that this is not an endorsement um or anything else that was just like initial impressions and like i said that that could hmm. that could change over the next 30 days but it does yeah. support um, Canada, US, Australia and the UK I believe so definitely my, my biggest mm. thing was that it didn't support Australia um, yes. there's no mobile app in Australia at the moment there's on the app store so I will we'll talk to Justin about that at some point to see if that will be rolling out because I do think that like we said in the I suppose the the uh, the review we did of a certain group you know, about a couple of months ago <laughs> that always got us cancelled um, realistically you know that to me that's probably taking away from the value of the product right so if, yep. if the other audiences have that mobile app um and we don't that yes. or yeah if it's being launched that's the only the bugbearer i suppose at this stage well, and to me so, i probably wouldn't use it yeah and it's always been a bit of a bugbear of ours hasn't it too the fact that quite mm. often when either products or groups or whatever come out and they mm. are marketing to us an australian audience they what we get is less than what everyone else gets, you know, because yeah. of the, you know, regardless of whether it's and, time, and, and, and of like time said, or it, there's something missing. And then yeah. we are paying so much more for the mm. for the actual thing. And that's what they don't realise is that the product might be forty nine ninety nine for whatever bracket in Australia. That converts to like, I think, 
because mine's over 2,000 items in the store. I think mine worked out that I would be paying, I think, $74.98 a month. Yeah. It would work out yeah. at the moment. Yeah. yeah. And it's the same as everything we come across, right? So it's not isolated to, you know, a certain group or a certain, you know, application. Mm. You know, cross-list magic was, was yep. the same when I was you know, cross-listing to Depop. So mm. if you are in the UK um, or I think it's in the US as well, I'm not too sure if, yeah, there's a lot of obviously cross-listing apps over there. But we really could only use it for Depop and Facebook Marketplace. Yep. So, like, you know, 80% of the, you know, the application wasn't relevant to us. But we were still paying that full rate. So... Like I said, I will reach out to Justin at some point over the next 30 days just to see what the, the roadmap is for an app for us. And, yeah, to be brutally honest, I probably wouldn't use it. Or, yeah, I probably would if I was at the thrift store because, yeah, like like I said, yeah. being a happier scatterbrain is that it would give me an opportunity to do it right there and then, right? So yeah. um, so I wouldn't forget about it. I'd have, like, a pile of receipts next to me that I haven't posted. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, look, I think because I did watch, as I said, I watched the demo and everything, and he did mention in the demo that they are looking at putting, having it a, a cross-listing tool as part of it. And I think yeah. if they can get that, get the app, the, the mobile app and the cross-listing tool in it, they'll have one hell of a product, I think. Yeah, and, and like I said, my, like, yeah, this is not <laughs> – even though it's turned into a six-minute ad for Flipwise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, like I said, that I will I will do some research into, in respect to that because I was yeah. turned on to it by I – think, I think I originally watched Phoenix Sales. Um, I did fall onto his channel, that which led me into to Ju Justin's channel. Then um, Hilly, which is one of the guys in Leanne's uh, Discord group. My Discord group. Yesterday. Come join. Yeah, because I, I – from – my understanding, it wasn't available to Australia or, or didn't think it was mm. available to Australia, then Hilly was using it. So I thought, oh, yeah, I've been meaning to, to give it a crack. So that's that's the reason I stumbled into it. So, yeah. But like I said, I'll let you know in the next couple of weeks or next month mm. of how it goes. But and by I the way, my, Brady... my Discord's free. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> oh, I know, Same. I monetize that. I monetize that when you're away as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, is that why I lost so many members? Yeah. Well, yeah, right. they, didn't exactly wanna, right. they didn't want to pay you. Yeah. Yeah. No. I've, I've turned into the um, Geelong Flipper. <laughs> Just try and pedal everything. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, but I, I suppose everything's been quite good yeah this is more of a just a, a fluff episode just to yeah to settle well, back look, into the, the routine oh, i did want to mention one one change that ebay's made uh mm. that i i quite thought was funny um because from the 1st of september 2024 um on ebay you are not allowed to list zombie knives Oh, that's boys right. You did mention this. Yeah, boys and girls, no zombie knives. So knives that indicate either in the listing or on the knife itself that they are intended for violence against a person or fictional creature <laughs> like a monster or zombie are not allowed to be sold on eBay. Well, so I can let you, you all know I'm, I collectively breathe a, a sigh of relief. Be, no one will be coming after me with a knife. <laughs> that's exactly right. So if you've got so any... Any zombie knives, get them up and sold before the 1st of September. And I, and I suppose that another thing that I have seen as well is that American Express, and this has been thrown across the whole internet, so, yeah, you know, I'm months and months and months behind on this one. But, yeah, you know, for those that use American Express to pay on eBay, um, you can use it through PayPal. Yeah, you know, so basically I have an, an American Express to pay my postage and all these different things because I collect points, right? So I use it from that perspective. Um so I just use it through PayPal because Australia Post doesn't accept it, uh, American Express off the bat. So just go from that perspective. So that's another way around that if you need to go down that path. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, so like I said, you can always get around it. And it's in Very the devious. Now, so. mm, well, that's right. That's exactly right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, why not? We'll go from that perspective. But I suppose, <laughs> Granny, your variation listing, you uh, you stole my thunder. I was going to do a video about a, a variation listing. But after watching yours, I, I've seen it was very... Um, very lacklustre. So, <laughs> what do you mean lacklustre? What do no. you mean? You know that that video caused me so much grief because you know <laughs> I, I use Filmora for, to do my editing, and mm. uh, there was all this new music in there, and I pay a subscription for for, for the program Filmora, so you know I can access all their extra little you know blingy things, and so mm. there's all this new music. So I thought, oh great, there's two sections: the intro, and then later on in the video where I'm doing the photos, I wanted to overlay some music. So I chose this really cool sounding music. One of them sounded very much like this um, rock and roll all night song. That's mm. it, 
sort of vibe it had. And uh, yeah, I get it and uploaded it to YouTube and I got a copyright and strike on it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I thought, well, hang on a minute. I don't know that that's right. But anyway, so I had to go and redo the video, not the whole thing, but take the music out and put new music in. So mm. yeah. But it's still yeah, a good so video. It is. It is. I, I, I do. I do laugh. Um, so I suppose for those that with my variation listing, I'm actually, well, my plan wasn't to, but it saved me a lot of work. Is I, I don't like teaching people how to do things like, you know, suck eggs, I suppose we say from our perspective, <laughs> right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you the benefits of using a, a variation listing and I will feed into Leanne's video to actually how to do a variation how listing, How to do right? it, yes. Because A, being an octopus with eight tentacles and <laughs> ADHD now, um, my attention span is quite limited. However, I can show you Octo. what it does and how. Octo, sorry. Sorry to interrupt you, but I just want to say you don't have ADHD now. You've always had ADHD. <laughs> You've just been diagnosed now. Oh, I'm just, just I, I don't know. As, like, someone that's, I, I don't... as someone that's a fellow ADHD sufferer, yes. Yeah, like, I, I suppose. Yeah, I'm also probably, diagnosed. Yeah. I might make some jokes about it, and it, please, by all means, don't take it as I'm picking on anyone or all these different things. But yeah, I, I want to keep it on the down low because, and the simple fact is, it almost feels to me like it's flavor of the month. I don't know if it's it's just popped up in the last six months or no, because I've been. Is, yeah, all it is is that um, a lot of resellers have ADHD, but hmm. a lot of resellers are also, for some reason, I mean, I've been on medication for years for it, um, hmm. but yeah for some reason going and getting diagnosed and getting medications become more of a thing i think pe yeah. maybe people realize they can do better if they take medication well there could be that so i, I personally i thought i caught it off judder because um i went and visited him a couple of years ago and i haven't been the right since <laughs> you caught it off him <laughs> <laughs> probably oh, i won't, I won't say i caught anything else off him um so basically mm. yeah like i said that that's from that perspective and like i said i'm not making fun of anyone that has it or you know discusses it on their channel it's just to me you know it just, I, I don't want to be associated with trying to jump on the latest craze per se from my perspective right so <laughs> oh yes yeah, so i am medicated me. i'm medicated now and i have i suppose from my perspective and this is probably the last thing i'll say on from this perspective is that it's made my brain a lot quieter um i don't have the voices in my head telling me to take over the world as quickly now mm. <laughs> Yes. Um, before we go, Granny, because we've only got two minutes and 30 seconds mm -hmm, left, I do want to bring attention to two podcasts. I'm actually in the process of watching yep. the Prophet Play podcast, which is Josh, John, and Beard. I can't remember. I think Scott's name. Um, yep. They're talking about whether they're going to reselling, and I'm probably 25 minutes into the episode, and it's phenomenal. Please, okay. please go watch it if you are considering going full time. Um, it is exactly the reasons why I went back to work for the simple factors, and it's he's they've articulated a lot better than i can so highly recommend it i will put it in the description field below and probably in the comment section as well because i can rem remember things now pretty <laughs> that's good excellent <laughs> and job. um and there's also another podcast uh the business and banter podcast with sam and i want to say headley or Hadley. i'm not too sure how to pronounce it she's a they're both members of text group um they're, they're, they're quite good actually i'll quite enjoy it um so like i said that it is geared towards their experiences in text group, which, like I said, that you, your mileage may vary um, depending on what you want to get out of that group. So, like I said, that just watching it from that perspective, their information is quite good. Um, like I said, it's phenomenal. And like I said, I have nothing against people in text group. However, just obviously just do your research before you go down that path. But yeah. they are quite enjoyable. They're quite uh, new. I think they're up to episode four or five. So by all means, I will put their link in the description field below. So slither over and have it, check them out. Um, they are phenomenal in their own spaces. And well, yeah. you know, like I can, I can remember what we were like on episode four and five. <laughs> well, uh, they're a lot better than we were. I think they're better than us now. <laughs> well, look what they've got to look forward to, that this is what they're oh, going to no. become. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I wonder who's going to dress up as the octopus. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Granny, what do you got coming out this week before we've got 30 seconds left? Um, yeah, I will be doing a What's Sold video. I'm also going to be doing a eBay News or, well, not eBay News, a reselling news section. And, uh, yeah, there might be a surprise coming later in the week. 
Oh, the two surprises. And yeah. I have absolutely no idea what's coming through. So <laughs> stay, stay tuned to what's coming out. I don't know. I have to work it yeah. out. But anyway, we'll uh, thank you. Grumpy for Granny week. Flipper on most places. Yeah. That's right. Join the Discord because I'm, I'm most active in there. <laughs>